Tonight, 3 News Now reported Maya Signs was there as the deputy's body was escorted home. Megan Stewart has the outpouring of community support from Missouri Valley to Council Bluffs. And senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is following the criminal case. Let's begin with Jake. Well, guys, Sheriff Jeff Danker says that through the heartache, they've still been trying to keep order and citizens safe in Pottawatomie County. They say the next step, though, is to get the suspect back on the east side of the river. We have officers down at the Valley for reading medics immediately. The heart pumping moments of an inmate on the loose, allegedly shooting two deputies in the garage area of the Pottawatomie County Jail. An hour later, Wesley Correa Carminati is arrested and Deputy Mark Burbridge is dead. Today, Sheriff Jeff Danker says the last 24 hours have been difficult. We had a meeting just this morning for the, uh, um, the, the charges that were going to be filed against the perpetrator. And, and uh, so it's. Uh, it just so many things going on. It's uh, it just it's just hard to grasp. Everything's been a blur. Carminati is arrested on the I-480 on ramp at Cummings Street and is at the Douglas County Jail. He's been booked on kidnapping, possession, and flight to avoid arrest, among other felonies. But he'll likely be charged with murder and attempted murder in Iowa. Obviously, they're going to have the more substantial charges uh, in Iowa, so we'll defer to them. Uh, the question will be, is he going to waive extradition and go back to Iowa or not? If he waives his extradition hearing Wednesday, he'll go back to Council Bluffs. But if Carminati doesn't, they'll start the Iowa governor's warrant process to bring him back, likely within the next 60 days. Klein would then have to drop the charges, but could refile them. He says it has to be done correctly. It's very important. It's, it's, uh, and that's why I, I contacted uh, uh, Matt Wilbur yesterday, just to make sure that we have the process figured out and uh, we do everything we need to do in a, in a proper manner to get him back over to Iowa. Now, Klein says if the state of Iowa isn't satisfied with the outcome of the case down the road, he could refile those charges in Douglas County. He would have three years to refile them until the statute of limitations runs out. Reporting live outside the Pottawatomie County Courthouse and Council Bluffs, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.